So, uh, okay. Let's change this into one page view. All right, so in our last lesson, I remember we discussed, uh, what did we discuss? I can't remember. Uh -huh. Yes, we talked about uh, appearances, remember? We discussed uh, what people wear, mm -hmm. their appearances, mm -hmm. remember? And, yes. and there were a few new words we, we learned when we talk about people. Mm -hmm. For example, people. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay, can you remind us of some of the, the ways we use? Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Hello, How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How about you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so here we're just having a quick revision. Um, we talked about the people in the, in the photo, and uh, we were mainly talking about Peggy and uh, her anniversary, because all of these people, or most of them, they came to her original wedding uh, 25 years ago. So what we're doing is just uh, we're trying, or her children are trying to get as many people as possible to come to, to the anniversary uh, party. And so we can see that, uh, what's his name? Trevor and Brenda, they came from the wedding and now they're back. And we talked about different ways to describe, uh, different ways to describe people. We've got words like, for example, if you want to talk about hair, you can say dark hair, you can say black hair, brown hair, you can say dyed hair, if the person is using a, a hair dye or something. You can talk about the style of hair, she has her hair up, her hair is in a ponytail. Mm, you can talk about jewelry, you can talk about clothes, you can talk about all, all kinds of uh, different uh, clothes also to talk about people. After that, we listened to the conversation and uh, we matched we matched the people to the numbers. Who can remind me who the people were? Who can remember who number two, three, four? Can you still remember them, Sana and uh, Malak, or have you yeah, forgotten them? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I I remember. Uh, just Biggie and uh, Trevor. <laughs> Biggie and uh, number uh, these three. Are the, these are the names. Yeah, Jenna, Jenna. Jane, Jane. Okay, number three. Okay. And uh, number four, uh, Brenda. Brenda, you're right. Number four was Brenda. Mm -hmm. Yes, number uh, five, uh, Sheila. Correct. Number five is Sheila. And number six, uh, Nick. Nick. And number seven? Mm -hmm. Number seven, uh, Derek. That's it. These are these were the people, and and these yeah. people are the same ones, I think, who came to the wedding. So you can see Brenda. Here's Brenda. Here's Jane. Here's Derek. Sheila isn't in the. Ah, here she is. Yeah, Sheila. Yeah. yeah so the same characters. So the only one missing from the picture here is uh, the husband Tom, right? Mm. Peggy's, yeah. Peggy's husband is not here. Mm. Mm. All right, so we talked also about uh, this part, but now I'm going to play the CD again. But before I play it, let me explain the question. Let me explain what I, I like you, I'd like you to do. Here it says in this question, who said these sentences? So we have 10 sentences and we have three people. So it's either, uh, it's either Peggy, or Karen or Leo. And remember, Karen and Leo are Peggy's children. Let me just check this because I, I remember they were her children. Uh, let's see. Yes, 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 exactly. So uh, Leo. Uh, Leo and Karen are Peggy and Tom's uh, children. All right, so all I need you to do after you listen is just tell me who said this sentence. Is it number one? Is it Karen, K, Leo, L, or Peggy, P? Let's just use letters, okay? 
So this is the question. So let me go to the listening track just to remind you of the conversation. And we can find out. So we need to check CD. Which CD is it? Yes, track three, CD three. Okay, so this is the question we're gonna work to answer. Track three. You look lovely with your hair up, Mum. And I love that red dress. Oh, thank you, Karen. Have you seen your father? Not for a while, no. Anyway, how are you feeling? A bit nervous, actually. And where's Leo? I'm not sure. He could be picking people up from the station. Oh, right. Who's that, Mum? The woman in the flowery skirt with wavy hair and glasses. That's Brenda Bradley. She was my bridesmaid. Oh, that's right. That can't be her real hair colour, though, can it? It looks dyed to me. <laughs> yes, I think it is. She used to be fair, I think. She must be going grey. Mm. And who's the woman with the blonde hair in the blue suit? Is that Jane Lewis? Yes, it might be. Hang on, she spotted us. Peggy! Gosh, it must be, what, 15 years since I last saw you. Hi, Jane. You look fantastic. Thank you, you too. Um, where's Tom? Good question. He must be talking to some guests in the other room. Uh, so, anyway... What are you doing these days? Karen. Ah, oh, there you are. Have you seen Dad? No, why? Mum's looking for him. Well, he must be around somewhere. He may want to be on his own for a bit. You know, it's a big thing, this party. Yes, maybe. Hey, who's that? Who? Him. The guy in the dark suit with curly hair and the moustache. It could be the guy that moved to New York. Uh, what's his name? Derek something? No, that isn't Derek Bradley. He's the tall guy over there, the one in the grey suit. With the beard? Yeah. Oh, right. And that's his son Nick next to him, with the flowery tie and glasses. Look, the man with the curly hair is coming over. Oh. Hi, you must be Peggy's daughter. Yes, that's right. I'm Karen. Hi. And this is my brother, Leo. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Trevor Jones. Thanks very much for inviting us. It's a wonderful party. I'm glad you're having a good time. Have you met my wife, Sheila? Uh, no, not yet. She's over there, the one with red hair in the dark brown dress. We first met at your parents' wedding, you know. Haven't you found him yet, Mum? No, I haven't. Maybe he's having a secret cigarette somewhere. Oh, don't be silly. He can't be having a cigarette. He stopped smoking months ago. Ah, Leo, there you are. Where's your father? He should be here talking to the guests. Well, he might be in the bathroom. Yes, perhaps. Go and check, will you, Leo? Sure, won't be a minute. Yes, he's in there. He's practising his speech in front of the mirror. He says he'll be out in a few minutes. Oh, honestly, he must know that speech by now. We spent hours going over it last night. Go and get him, will you? I'm going back to join the party. Sure. I'm glad we only have to do this every 25 years. OK. All right, let's see who said all of these sentences. So, um, okay, so that can't be her real hair, her real uh, hair. Who said this? Peggy's daughter. Peggy's yes. daughter. Karen. Yeah, I, Karen. I can't Karen. Remember. 
K Karen. Karen. So let's mm. let's write okay. K. K. Mm -hmm. He must be talking to some guests in the other room. Um, Big. 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 Peggy. Big. Mm. Okay. What about uh, he may want to be on his own for a bit. Uh, Leo. Leo. All right. Mm. The sun. Mm -hmm. Let's write L, letter L. Um, okay, what about it could, it could be that guy who moved to New York. Who said this? Uh, Karen. 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 Yes, that's right. No, that isn't the Derek Bradley. Uh, Leo. That's right. He can't be having a cigarette. Um, uh, Biggie. Correct. Biggie. Peggy said this. He might be in the bathroom. Mm, Leo. Right, Leo. And then he's practicing his speech in front of the mirror. Leo. Leo. Also Leo. Leo. Also Leo. Mm. And he must know that speech by now. Uh, Peggy. Correct. Peggy said this. Yes. All right. So this was the conversation. This was the anniversary party. Now we can take a look at the grammar. And, and see what's the story of all of these modals. Because in today's lesson, the focus of the lesson is actually using modal verbs to make deductions. So this is the focus of our lesson, using modal verbs to make deductions. All right, so let's move on and let's see. So here in exercise number three, let's talk a little bit about grammar, making deductions. So they want us to talk about the sentences we, we just checked, um, but it's better if I show you both pages together, I think. Okay, so this way you can see both sentences. Uh, I mean, both sides of the page. Hmm, I don't think it's very useful because it's in the bottom. Uh, but okay, no problem, we can use this. Okay, so the first part of, uh, of, of the, the grammar exercise, the first part, it says, are they talking about the past, the present, or the future in the sentences? Let me just quickly show you. Oops, oops, oops. We missed a sentence, where did I go? Uh, here they are. So in these 10 sentences that we just talked about, the ones that Karen, Leo, and Peggy said, are they, do you think they're in the past or are they in the future? Are they in the present? What, what do you think? Hajar, what do you they think? They are in the present. They are talking right now. Um, and mm. They are talking to each other. So they use present and uh, present. Do you agree, Sana? Do you think that they're, they're, it's in the present? They're talking about things going on now? Yes, I think yes. It's, it's, it's correct. It, it is in the present, yes. So mm. these, these 10 sentences are in the present. They're describing events that are happening or going on now. Okay, so this is the first part of our question we just answered. So it's in the present. Now, the second part of the question, which is part B, they want us to match the sentences, number one to 10, to the meanings. So in reality, we have five different meanings, not just one, not two, but five. Let me just quickly show you the meanings we have. So the first one is A. So here the speaker knows this is definitely true. And B believes this is true, not definitely, but true. And C, it, the person or the speaker believes this is possibly true. And D, the person or the speaker believes this isn't true. And the last part is the speaker knows this is uh, definitely not true. So if you think of it, it's a bit like, it's a bit like a scale. It's, it's, it's a bit like a scale here. Do you get the idea? So the person here in A, he's 100 or she's 100% confident or sure that what's going on is true. You get the idea. And here, 
the person is zero <clears throat> percent, or let's say a hundred percent sure that this is not true. Do you get the idea? It's a bit like this. And in the middle, the person is kind of 50%, not sure if this is true or not. Do you get the idea? Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah, all right. So what our job now is to check the sentence and try to categorize the 10 sentences according to this, <coughs> this, uh, this grouping. So the first one is already answered. It says that uh, number nine is definitely true. So let's take a look. So number nine, he's practicing his speech in front of the mirror. Hmm, but why do you think this is true? 100% definitely true, why? What makes this so, what makes the speaker confident that this is true 100%? Maybe because he see him. Correct. He saw him. Yes. yes. And did he use any modal verbs? No. And no. No. No modal verbs. He just used present continuous, right? Because he saw him practicing in front of the mirror. So Leo went back to his mother and he said, "Dad is practicing in front of the mirror." So there is no, there is no fifty-fifty. There is no maybe, maybe not. It's, it's sure. It's definite, right? Now, can you can you find a sentence where it's definitely something is definitely not true? No, that isn't uh, Drake Bradley. Correct. Number six, right? So here, number yes. six, the speaker mm -hmm. is definite definite that the, the the information is not true. So this means if, we got, if we're gonna answer it, we're gonna give knows this is uh, definitely not true. So E, so uh, for E we can say number six is E. Let's write E here. So number nine is A and um, number six is E. All right, so let's go back to the beginning now, number one. He could be picking up, he could be picking people up from the station. So Karen here, do you think she's, she's sure? Do you think this is uh, definitely sure? Knows no. this is definitely true? Does she believe this is true? Does she believe this is possibly true? Or does she believe this isn't true? What do you think? A, B, C, D, or E? I do you think, think maybe C. E. C. Okay, so now I think C. Hajar, what do you mm. think for, for the first sentence? Okay, Hajar disconnected. Malak, what do you think? Um, maybe B. She believes this is true. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Because like uh, she like uh, did like guess she could be picking people up from the station. Good, good point. Uh, she uh, she don't uh, she like guess not uh, yes. not sure. So you, you feel you feel she's not sure, right? Yes. Mm, maybe you're right. Okay, so let's leave it because we're going to check them okay. anyways, but mm -hmm. but let's write both your answers, okay? Mm -hmm. You, Sana thinks C and Malak thinks B. So we're going to write, write both of them and then we'll see. All right, what about number two? That can't be her real color. That can't be her real color. What do you think, Sana, when we say that can't be her real color? Is it A, B, C, D, E? That can't be her real hair color. What do you think? Can you hear me, Sana? Hello? Okay, Sana, you can't hear me. Uh, Malak, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what do you think? 
for uh, she, that can't be her hair color. Is it A, B, C, or D? What do you think? Um, maybe uh, uh, A. Um, okay, so you think she's she's sure, 100%? Yes, yes. Mm, okay, let's write your answer. Are you back, Sana? Sorry, you hear? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes. Okay. okay. So Maybe what? There is disconnected. Yeah. So what? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Is For it sentence number two? Uh huh. Two? Yes. Sentence number. Uh, she believes the. The, the one about her hair, that can't be her real hair color. What, what do yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, believe, is, believe is, this is. Mm -hmm. Believes, mm -hmm. believes this. Yes, she, is say, she says it's true, yeah. It's true, so B, yeah. you think? Yeah. You think it's B, Sana? Yes. Yes. Mm. But she said can't, negative. What do you think, Malak? Yes. Uh, yes because uh, uh, she is uh, sure about uh, that uh, her hair, uh, it is uh, not real color. But but she's, she's sure. <laughs> She's, she's sure that this is definitely true or that this isn't true? I think A, that's uh, no, definitely true. Okay, let's write A. Do you agree, Sanad? Do you think it's A? Uh, yes. Okay. What, what the, the, the for A, A and knows the true? Uh, What's the difference between them? The difference is, is how sure you are. The قصة في في التقة كم درجة وتوقف من المعلومة هي هذه الفكرة. Do you get the idea? Because uh, A is stronger. نتكلم عن نيجاتيف ولا. The word is. أو لا. في نيجاتيف لأن التن التنيات اللي هما E و D نيجاتيف. ترى شوفوهم. Let me show you. Sana, your connection is getting weak. Can you see them? Yes, maybe E. No, this definitely isn't too true. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got two answers. We, we've no, got... she, she knows. Yeah, she's 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 yes, sure. But uh, but the difference is the person is sure this is not true. Do you get the idea? لا اه الموضوع لا انتم تخيلوا انتم ما تتخيلوش من معناها اللي تحت معناها مش مش واثق مثلا ها شوفوا مش عندنا من الاي تو تو اي انا انا نترجم فيها من ناحيه الجمله لا لا ما ترجميهاش انت ايه فاهمه هما بس يعني شوفي سواء مشينا في الاتجاه الفوقي او الاتجاه التحتي اللي لوطه اللي فوق الشخص متاكد اللي في النص هو اللي مش متاكد دي جت ايديا الاي متاكد من معلومته والاي متاكد من معلومته 100% الفرق الوحيد في البوزيتيف والنيجاتيف يعني الشخص اللي السبيكر اي هي نوز ذس 
definitely isn't true. لاحظوا ركزوا على كلمة definitely. بالتأكيد isn't true. وحتى هنا عنده بالتأكيد. قال الفرق هنا بالإجابة متأكد مية في مية شخص أن المعلومة صح. وهنا الشخص في الإي متأكد مية في مية أن المعلومة غلط. يعني الزوز عندهم درجة تأكد عالية. الأي والإي. دي قطعة عادية. هذه فكرتها. So one hundred percent. هنا في ال E من معلومة الشخص و A نفس الشيء 100% متأكد من معلومته <تصفيق> عرفت الفكرة؟ يعني في الحقيقة اللي مش متأكدين هلبا اللي هم ال B وال C وال D يعني ال B زي ما نقوله متأكد من معلومته مت يعني متأكد 75% أن هي صح أن هي true معلومته متأكد منها درجة التأكد يعني والنفس الشيء D درجة التأكد حتى هو 75% الأقل شخص واثق من معلومته اللي هو C ما مش متأكد هل هي صح هي ولا ناتو 50% دي قد دي عيدية وهل وصلت تقسيمها كيف هذه الفكرة ويك انترنت that's why I could yes you do have weak internet uh, all right so so this means yeah I can hear you but you're it's not very good I can't hear you clearly so this means number two that can't be her hair. What do you think, uh, Hajar? Uh, C. You think it's he C? He thinks. Yeah. But she didn't say... She didn't say think. She just said that can't be her real hair color. In number mm -hmm. two. Number one, yeah. Uh, number three. Uh, number two. Sorry, who am I being? What do you think of number two, Hajar? That can't be her real hair color. Is it A, B, C, D, or E? Uh, B. B, okay. Uh, he believes. Okay, but the I person believes, the... but not not one hundred percent sure. You're saying. Yes. Okay. What I about? Say uh, A. I say the E. You said E, Malak. Okay. Yeah. So we have B and we have E. All right. What about number three? He must be talking to some guests in the other room. What is it? Is the person does does the person think this is definitely true? A or is it B or is it or definitely not true? E, what do you think? Maybe B. Maybe B. Okay, I think it yeah. might be it might be easier yeah. if we could I have an idea if we could bring them closer because if you put them next to each other, we have the S in one. Uh, okay, give me a second. Let me move them so so you can see them next to each other. This will make answering the question a lot easier. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now...
Oops. All right. So we can see it. Now tell me if you can see both uh, both windows. Can you see both windows? Can you can you see the A B A B C D E on the right side of the page? Yes. Okay. All right. So here this will make it easier, and we can just write the answers on. Oops. No. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just write the answers here on this side. So uh, let's start from the beginning. He could be picking up, what is this? A, B, C, I D, E. This is possible, true. C, I think. You think C. All right, so let's write number yeah. one here. Okay, that can't be her real hair color. What's this? Uh, e, I think. You think E. Hazard, what do you think? Uh, B. B. But remember, we have believes this is true, believes this isn't true. Yeah, uh, D. D. And, uh, and Malak, you said E, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we have he must be talking to some guests in the in the other room what do you think b b i think uh, a you think a okay uh, no no uh, i think uh, uh, c c possibly true mm, okay mm, yeah all right, what about, the, he may want to be on his own for a bit. He may want to be. Uh, what C. Do C. Black, what do you think? Mm. Yes, I think C. Okay. Uh, it could be the guy that moved to New York. It could be number five. A B. 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 B yeah. You agree, Malak? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that isn't Derek Bradley. That isn't. Uh, a. Is it E? Is it A or is it E, Malak? Is it positive oh, yeah. or negative? Is it negative. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, e. Okay. Then it says he can't be having a cigarette. What do you e. think? E. Okay. Malak, what do you think? Uh, D. Okay. E or D, yes. <laughs> all right, all right. He might be in the bathroom. Uh, D, mm. uh, not D, uh, C. 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 A? C. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. He might be in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, number eight. Um, uh, Hazard, do you agree? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, number nine of Joe being her. Uh, number 10, he must know that speech by now. What do you think? He must know that speech by now. Uh, maybe B. Uh, B, yes. Maybe B. Okay. 
So let's let's confirm these answers. Let's take a look. I think we need to check the, the rule so you can sort of get the point here. Let's take a look at the rule. So uh, page 151. So 151. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> Can you see it? Modal verbs making deductions. This is our focus. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. These are the answers. Now, the first, the first question we answered correctly when we said it's in the present. Ah, it's in the present. Okay. So uh, here, this is this is the last point. Let's start here because it's important. Um, Malak, can you read the last point? This one in the box. Okay. Uh, when we know something is definitely true or is uh, definitely not true, we don't use uh, a modal verb. He's practicing uh, his speech in front of the mirror. No, <laughs> that isn't uh, Derek Bradley. Okay. So what does this mean? This means A and E, right? Definitely true. Definitely not true. Do you remember in, in the list? A, B, C, D, E. So this means if you're definitely sure of something, you shouldn't use a modal verb. There's no place for a modal verb. Do you get the idea? Uh, whether you're you're definitely sure it's true or definitely sure it's not true. For halten, you don't use a modal verb. Okay. So هذه هيك بطريقة هذه غطينا ال A وال E تو right. تو معناه عنا الوصيات اللي هو B C D. Okay. Now, if you believe something is true, if you believe something is true, اللي هي تعتبر هذه B طبعا. يعني هذا كأنه توجبنا A. وجاوبنا إي، أوكي؟ تقول فوقية اللي هي تعتبر بي. Alright. So in B, this means in this situation, you believe what you're saying, you believe what you're saying is true. Do you get the idea? So he must be talking to some guests. But this person is not 100% confident or not 100% sure. Do you get the idea? Yani shakhs la megulik bil English, he must be talking to some guests. Now my question is, can he see that can he see him talking to guests or not? What do you think, Hajj? Not. Not. No, he isn't. Yes. Yeah. He he can't see them with his eyes because he's making a deduction. Do you know what a deduction means? Deduction. No. Yeah, no. What, what does no. it mean, Hajar, deduction? Deduction. Um, uh, um, like a suggestion. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Deduction is deduction right? يعني الشخص هذا اللي في اللي قال لنا he must be talking to something to to some guests in the other room الشخص هذا يستنتج استنتاج ما شافهاش بعينه do you get the idea so it's not 100% sure على العكس اللي تحت he's practicing his speech in front of a mirror هنا كانت 100% sure لأن شبحو يتكلم في ال في ال mirror do you get the idea so, uh, so this is the meaning of deduction. Yeah. يعني استنتاج. Deduction, yeah, for استنتاج. All right. Now, اللي هم الوسطيات C, this means you think something is possibly true. You're not sure. You can use could, may, might. أنا الأمثلة هذه كلهم اللي فيهم الكود والمي والمايت 
this person is not 100% sure. He might be in the bathroom. He may want to be on his own. He could be pe picking people up from the station. It could be the guy that moved from New York. Do you get the idea? I do have to book on him. See, all right. وآخر واحدة اللي هي دي اللي هو الشخص يعني درجة الثقة من فكرته زي B غرفة negative. So here when you say, for example, that can't be her real hair color. Here you don't really know. You're confident, but it's not 100%. Okay, is it is it clear? Yes. Yes. Now if yes. we if we go back and if we if we uh sorry uh, the internet was uh... it's okay, no problem. Let me go back to the page and uh, what's the name? Deduction, you say deduction. Deduction, you have to be an accounted stand. You say, stintage, stintage, be not an alam maluma metan la hataya, stintage. Yani, a shuxli stamen must, who could do, may or might, who can't. Yani, you had a shuxs gadit kahan, or is stintage. Yani, maho, may arafsh and maluma me of me on hundred percent. لأن لو يعرفها ما كانش حيستعمل أي مودل فيرب راو قالها بال... بالتنس العادي present simple present continuous وخلاص راو قال لك he's مثلا لو نسلك نقول لك where's uh, where's سنة مثلا لو أنت قلتي لي she's she's uh, reading a book this means you saw her reading a book أكيد شفتها yeah. ولا قلت لك معناها أنت متأكدة من معلومتك she, 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 she's reading a book لكن لو مثلا لو قلتي لي she must be reading a book. هنا أنت ما تعرفيش هل هي تقرأ ولا لا. لكن بكري تعرفي أن هي مشت المكتب وشت كتاب. فهمت كيف؟ يعني أنت تتركي yeah. في القصة من فراسك من عندك. أن هي بكري مشت yeah, المكتب. يعني تقصد كلهم ما... كلها في خيالك. كل المدل كل المدل يعني مش 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 لا مش مش أنهم مش شور مش شور مش شور. الشخص قاعد يستنتج لكن حتى هم درجة الشور تختلف مدى مدى تأكد الشخص منهم يعني الشخص اللي يقولك ماس درجة تأكد من التكهن متاع أكبر من الشخص اللي يقولك ماي يعني لو أنا نقول لك سنة must be reading her book عندي زي ما تقولي عندي أسباب أن تقول من المرجح أن هي تقرأ في كتاب لأن قالت نبي نقرأ بكري وشبحتها شت الكتاب لكن ما نشوفش فيها تقرا ولا لا تقرا، لكن بنقول يعني زي بالفصحى نقول من المرجح انها تقرا او في الكتاب، فهمتي الفكره يعني؟ مرجح يعني هذه مصر بالشكل هذا. لكن could do may or might اقل شويه، لو قلت لك she may be reading her book يعني زي بالعربيه نقول ممكن ممكن تقرا في كتابه، يعني درجه تاكد تاكدي من معلومه ما زال اقل. Do you get the idea? فهي yeah. كلهم كلهم الاستعمال هذا الطريقة اللي استعملناها اليوم كلها غرضها الاستنتاج أو التكهن هي هذه الفكرة يعني لو رجعنا وكتبناهم كل واحدة والتولز اللي تمشي معهم يعني يعني لو قلتي definitely true معناها no modal verbs مش حتستعملي modals و definitely not true مش حتستعملي modals okay if you believe this is true, you're gonna use must. If you if you have a strong belief, you're gonna use must. If you believe this isn't true, you're gonna use can't. If you believe this is possibly true, you can use may. Can. Yeah. Yeah. You can use could, and you can use uh, might. Might. I think it's might. Uh, let me check it. Uh, might. Okay. يعني هذا طريقة استعمالهم في deductions. So this means if you are sure one hundred percent of something, don't use a model. If you are sure one hundred percent of something that's not true, don't use a model. If you believe something, if you believe it's true, you can use must. If you believe it's false, you can use uh, can't. If you're not sure, you think maybe, you can use may, could, might. All right, this is, this is the overall idea. 
All right, let's uh, move to part C. So here they want us to look at the verb forms in bold, then fill the gaps uh, with the correct modal verbs. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you want to talk about something that we believe is true, what do we must, use? Must, must. Must, correct. So. And if we, if we want to may. talk... Uh, mm -hmm. May. Yes. Uh, could. Correct. Might. Yes. Could. Might. Correct. And if we believe something isn't true? Can't. Yes. Can't. Can't. Mm-hmm. Can't have this time of the same if you're going to مثلا انكم انتم مت... ان الشخص يبدا متاكد من معلومه خطا مثلا أه... وين وين محمد مشى أه... مشى للمشى أه... للمطار فانت تقولي لا لا مستحيل يمشي المطار ما... توا عنده شغل مثلا يو يد... دونت نو فور شور ممكن مشى المطار هو لكن باللي تعرفيه بالروتين اليومي محمد انه من الساعه 8 9 عنده مثلا شغل او يوصل شو بيدير في المطار مستحيل يكون في المطار تو دي جت ايديا يعني هو في الاخير تكهن يور جست يور جست تراين تو ديدكت ذا فاكت يو دونت نو 100% يعني لو تعرفي حتقولي هي از نوت ان ذا ايربورت هي از ات ورك هي از ان ذا كار هي از ات هوم مش حتستعملي مود فيربس سو هذا الملخص الموضوع Okay, now, next part of the question in part D, it says, uh, which sentences are talking about a state and which sentences are talking about something happening now? Okay, and I kid you not state verbs will activity verbs. So let's take a look at the sentences again. And I want you to tell me which ones are talking about a state and which ones are talking about something happening now from from these 10 sentences which one do you think is a state and which one talks about something happening now what do you think for example picking up people is this a state or is it something happening now it's uh, uh something, something happen happening correct. now correct correct okay what about uh, what about the next one? Her real hair color. Is this something happening state. now or is it a state? State. Correct. Yes. He must be talking to some guests. Oh, happening now. Correct. Something happening now. He may want to be on his own. State. Correct. State. It Correct, correct. It could be the guy who moved to New York. It could be. State. Correct. State. That's right. No, that isn't Derek Bradley. State. 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 He can't be having a, a cigarette. Yes, no. Yes, it's, a, happening, it's a, now. happening now, correct. He might be in the bathroom. State. Okay. State. Mm -hmm. He's practicing his speech. Yes, uh, no. Uh, happening now. Now, happening it's happening now. now. So he must know that speech by now. A state. 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 All right, very good. فليبو يوصلوا لأن المودل verbs of deduction تقدر تستعملهم سواء في state و إلا في for for things happening now. In both situations, you can you can use it without a problem. Now. Let's complete the rule. It says to make deductions about states, we use modal verb plus. Let's, a... Let's see. Correct. Yes. Zero company in here. Can't be. May want. Could be. Might be. Must not. Sahmana. Klamic. Infinitive is correct. So if it's a state, Use your modal verb and use the infinitive. Correct. And if you're using a deduction for something happening right now, modal verb. 
plus b plus ing yes plus ing اللي هم زي he must be picking up the people he must be having a cigarette صح ولا؟ تمام all right so this is the idea now there is something important to remember if you want to make a deduction يعني بتتكهنوا أو بتستنجوا you cannot use can و mustn't ما يمشيش حالهم you have to use could so مثلا it could be him يعني إذا إحنا بلي بنقول أظني هو ممكن ممكن هو أعتقد هو it's a bit like this it could be him يعني it could be him if you want to do say it in another way it's like saying I think it may be him or I think it is him but you're not confident 100% باستعمال could تقدر تلقي قصة think it could be him it could be him it might it might be him لو أنت متأكدة أكثر هتقولي it must be him. أكيد هو أكيد هو. It must be him. لو أنت واثقة مية في المية حتقولي it is him. ما عاش في مود الفرق. Anyways, الملخص الموضوع هنا you cannot use can, you cannot use mustn't to make deductions. It doesn't work. All right, let's see a quick summary of this. Let's take a quick look. And see if any points are important to remember. I don't know if we've got enough time for an exercise, but let's take a look. Okay, so this is the first part. So if it's a deduction about a state, modal verb plus infinitive. He must know that speech by now. And it and it says, if it's a deduction about something happening right now, modal verb be, verb ing, he must be talking. He must be talking. Okay, my fish fish has a louder. All right, let me take you to the exercise. Let's see if we can do an exercise or two. All right, now it says, choose the correct modal verbs. Here, number five. Let's look at these sentences and choose the correct modal verbs. So here we need to use uh, the correct modal verb. So number one, that woman could well I must be mom's cousin, but I'm not sure. What do you think we should use? Should we use must or could here? Could. Correct. Because the person is not sure. Number two. Yeah. Uncle Ian isn't here yet. He may, can't be working late. He can't be. He can't be. But he isn't here yet. He may, yeah, he may, he be, may. Yeah. He yes. may be working late. لما تقولي كانت انت تنفي الاحتمال انه هو يخدم كان. Yeah. He can't be working late زي بالليبي بتقولي اه مستحيل هو يشتغل، مستحيل يخدم توا. لكن لما تقولي ماي فانت تعطي فيه في عذر يعني ممكن ي... ممكن معطل في الشغل وخلاص. Number three Nick can't must be married yet. Yeah. And yet yes. ما دام يت معناها نيجاتيف، واضح الموضوع. <تصفيق> So he can't be married yet. He's only 17. Okay, number four. Jane must can't have dyed hair. In the wedding photo, she had dark hair. Um, must. Correct. Must. Yes, because there's a clear change. So it, she must have, ha have dyed hair. Number five. Sheila can't, might want to leave soon. She looks a bit bored. Might. Might. Yeah, Might. because she's bored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Derek's just arrived from New York. He must can't be feeling very tired. Must. Must. Yes. Because Must. it's a it's a long trip. The kid the kid taban. Number seven. You must can't be hungry, Dad. You've just finished eating. You um. can't. You can't. you can't. Yes, because you just finished. Number eight, Trevor could, must be in, a, in the restaurant 
or he may can't be in the garden. Um, could, so, could be, he the could the be, or he may be correct in the garden. May. So, that's the idea. He could be in the restaurant or he may be in the garden. يعني الشخص هذا من الأخير مش عارف بالضبط. ما يعرفش. قال لك راه ممكن ممكن he doesn't know. All right. Do you get the idea? Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. So unfortunately, we'll have to uh, stop here for today. But I'd love if you can do this as uh, homework. And it's, it's, I think it's easy we can, because this is where we're going to start in our next lesson. And hopefully we can get a chance to talk about our next topic. So here we're going to do a little bit of reading and some reading skills, some phrasal verbs. So it's nice and interesting. And it's about, it's about weddings and marriage. So it's a very interesting topic. I think you'll like it. So uh, until then, have a good uh, night, and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Inshallah. Thanks. All right, then. Inshallah. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.